Okay, welcome back. We have obviously moved out of my home studio into my dining room of my house so that I can show you how to properly do an interview. Now you have to kind of use your imagination a little bit because I'm all alone this afternoon, but how to do an interview is kind of the same, but you just have to use your imagination that there are two people here instead of just me. So when I represent the other person, which I'm just gonna make up, I'm going to make sure I have on a hat, my sunglasses, and this other t-shirt so you can tell the two of us apart. So when I wear that, I'm going to look like this. And I'm gonna look like this, okay? So I've got a different t-shirt on, I've got sunglasses on, and I got this nice fancy hat here. And that's just gonna let you know that I'm now the interviewed person, okay? So the regular me is the one asking the questions, the weird looking me is the one answering the questions. Normally, you don't do this, okay? You don't try to beat two people at once, but you get the idea, okay? So there's, this is how you interview somebody. I'm just gonna play this role and pretend so that you see how it works, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, now back to me. Let's go over the things that you need to be able to do the interview properly. Number one is you need a nice, quiet location, okay? Because we're gonna be using the microphone that's built into our MacBooks here, and it needs to be quiet. So you can't have a little puppy dog or a little brother or mom and dad. I mean, right now I have my air conditioning running and I bet you it's gonna get picked up by the microphone. So you need to get a quiet location. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you have nice lighting. Okay, so I've got a really bright window behind me. So I've got my blinds pulled down there, but then I've got another bright window behind the camera. That's great. You always want the brightest light coming from behind the camera. That's always really good light. So I'm actually well lit. You can see a little bit of it reflecting in the shiny cabinets and glass of my kitchen there, but I've got really good lighting in here, so that should work out okay. Number three is that you need to get your MacBook so that the FaceTime camera is at eye level with who you're interviewing. Okay, so I'm an adult, so obviously I needed more space because I'm taller above this uh, table here but you need to make sure that you have books or something that is secure that it can be on there so that that camera is at basically at my eye level. You don't want it down low, you know, looking up at your nose or something like that. You want it really kind of at eye level. And speaking of that, you'll notice our arrangement. I guess this is the next step is you need to arrange it so you have a chair facing another chair for the two of us to be in, you and then whoever you're going to interview and then you're going to use this table. So do it next to a table, something fairly large, like a classroom desk is just not big enough. You know, it has to be a table, unless you can move the desk, but you need a table because for one part of the interview, it's gonna be over here, and then for the next part of the interview, it's gonna be over here. So you need to have enough space around on this table so you can move around your MacBook, which is your camera, okay? And then finally, you need to have your questions written down on little question cards here. I've got them on just on little index cards. I have four questions, one on each card, but then I thought of another question, so I added two onto one card. That is because you shoot the interview out of sequence. You don't ask the question, then the person answers it. You actually ask all your questions, and then you move your camera or your MacBook, move your camera over here, and they answer all the questions. That's why you need them written down, so that you ask the same question every time. So that's why you have to have them written down. So, you ready to see how it looks? Here we go.